I'm here with Sarah Newman and she's got some great tips on making your own tissue tape. That's right, we're gonna take a look at three ways to get your own decorative tissue tape. So let me show you. First of all, Julie, the, to make decorative tissue tape, you need tissue paper and you need tape. Imagine and that. The rest <laughs> is really easy, if that wasn't easy enough. So let me show you first how I'm getting started. I'm just going to take a piece of pattern tissue paper mm -hmm. and I got this in a gift package and I didn't want to throw it away because it was so pretty. So I'm putting it to use, repurposing it. So I'm just going to turn it over, working on the back side, and I'm using some double-sided clear tape. So I'm just gonna pull off a length of this and tear it and place it down next to one of the edges or as close to it as I can get. And then I just need to trim on either long side. So this now is Now I know easy. that you said that this happens to be permanent, but you could also use repositionable, so you really get to customize the level of stick. Exactly, exactly. Because some tapes are really um, more of a masking tape mm -hmm. and you can you know, pick them up and, and put them down other places if you want to, and others are much more permanent, as you mentioned. So you can do whichever way you want. So Sarah, I notice you're not actually trimming the ends. Is there a reason? Well, yes. Actually, this is gonna make my life a lot easier when it comes time to pull off the liner. If I have a little bit uh, of that of tissue course. to grab onto, and this is just a little lesson that I've learned along the way. So <laughs> learn from my mistakes if you need to. So that's one way to do it. Now the second way is to start with a piece of white tissue and give it a color spritz with any one of your color sprays. Just be sure that when you're doing that you spray just once mm -hmm. because tissue paper is really absorbent and you can end up with a kind of a, a soggy, soggy mess. mess. Yeah. Exactly. So you can always add more color if you want to, mm -hmm. but of course you can't take it away. So the same process will apply. You'll just turn it over, put your tape down, and then when you trim, you'll have something that looks I like this. I love it, it's got that great graffiti sort of 80s yeah, look to it, Yeah, exactly, it? and you can do this in whatever color you want, so you can really, really customize it. Now, the third way to do this is with a piece of plain white tissue, mm -hmm. and you'll notice this is looking a little wrinkly. A little That's used. totally fine. I fished it out of um, a package that I had received, so mm -hmm. you don't need to go out and buy new um, tissue paper. You can use something that you've already got. And I'm going to use a rubber stamp, a clear acrylic stamp. And I like using a border stamp mm -hmm. because this is about as wide as my tape. So it's a good um, indicator of how wide mm -hmm. my, my tape will be. But really, you could use any stamp on earth to do it. Oh, definitely, definitely. So I'm just going to ink it up with a permanent ink, a dye ink. Now it's important that it be permanent because you're assuming people are gonna handle it or? You know, you can use just about any ink mm -hmm. that you want. Just keep in mind if you're using a really juicy ink pad or a pigment ink mm -hmm. that again, tissue paper is thin and so you can end up with losing a little bit of the detail of your stamp if you're not that careful. That was interesting how you stamp that. I'm so used to putting all my weight on a stamping block, mm -hmm. but you really just tapped it. I really did because, um, you know, you don't want to squash it down too much. You're going to end up losing detail if you do that. Oh. So worked with a light touch. Tissue paper is inexpensive, so if you do goof, you can always go back and do another one. So again, I would just turn this over. You know, you do need to let it dry, turn it over, and trim. Okay, so then I see that you have a whole pile there that you've already <laughs> taken the time to do. Exactly, and you may be asking, what are you going to do with all of your little strips of tape? Well, what Good are you going to do with all your little strips, Sarah? <laughs> I'm going to make a party hat. Oh, cool. <laughs> was that the answer you were expecting? <laughs> I was Maybe hoping. Not. <laughs> so I'm starting with a piece of plain white cardstock, and I'm going to take my patterned um, tissue here and just peel off that liner and then pop it down onto my paper, just like this. Now would you trim that edge or can you rip it? Are you there can, any rules about you it? Can, you can tear it, you mm -hmm. can cut it, you can trim it afterwards. It mm -hmm. just, it really just depends so on what you So it tears really doing. easily because it's tissue paper, yeah. obviously. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to put down my second strip here and I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap in between there. And then I'm just going to carry on doing all of my mm -hmm. different strips until I have something that looks like this. Which I thought this was a wedding cake when I first saw it. It could be a wedding cake if you wanted it to be, but I'm gonna have my party hat pattern here. And then I just need to place this down, mm -hmm. and you could tack it down if you wanted mm -hmm. to, or you could simply hold it and down. That's just a basic template. This is, it's just a simple triangle with a bit of a curve at the bottom. 
So you're, you you're can... a crafter after my own heart. I, I never actually tape things down when I'm supposed to. I like to just hold them and go for it and hope yeah. for the best. Well, I do kind of hold down and, and hope for the best. And again, you know, because this is so inexpensive and so readily available, truly, if you goof, it's not, it's not the end of yeah. the world, right? So then I have my little party hat. And in this case, I inked around the outside edge, and then I just added a little button on top as my pom pom before I, I put it onto the card. I love how you added the little gold in there. It gives it yeah. that real party feel. Yeah. And I, I noticed that you actually used some more of the tape over here. I did, and I was I was feeling so proud of myself for using those end bits, and then also this one up here because I had a little I had a little accident up there at this <laughs> smudge, so I thought I'd cover it up with some of my That's tape. That's so fun! It's so like it confetti does falling duty. from the sky. Exactly, exactly. So this is how easy it is to make your own. Super tape. easy, and I want to just point out this one example with the candle yes. down here because I think that's a great tip. Will you tell us about that one? Right. Well, I wanted my candle to be wider than my tape, so I just simply put down two pieces of tape side by side. You would think that you're going to see a line through there, and you don't, which is the great thing. Truly customizable tissue tape. Exactly. Thanks so much, Sarah. Thank you.